Mercy Drive, Inc. And we were so fortunate, really thank you, to be invited last year to the Remix. And we performed a piece called Ecstatic Corona, which we have now uh, taught and performed at least 10 times. Really great. Is it that many? Well, eight. Mm -hmm. And um, that one was based on some research we did for a number of years in a small uh, community in Queens where I grew up, where others here lived or were related to one way or the other. So uh, uh, we had our first performance here and went on. So this is a first performance, also of a new piece called uh, The Children of the Mercy of the Mercy Files transcript. And it's um, a beginning for us. We'll work on the piece more, I'm sure. But it's about um, life in institutions, uh, immigration, mental institutions, schooling, and uh, both from um, a client side and from a worker side, and from the emotional life of institution. <laughs> Camps I found were temporal. So I did. People disappeared. 
I disappeared too. Even though I had escaped the violence, I still felt it. It vibrated and echoed with such vitality that I had no other choice than to confront it. Here and there could not be ignored. I began to remember a past I had thought I had forgotten, that I thought I had escaped. Why are you so nervous today? Why? Why? Because you keep looking at me. I'm looking at you. Just keep looking at me. So, I'm looking at you. Keep looking at me. And you have... Have what?
again, I am speechless. Please come and take a well-deserved air curtain call. That was very powerful and important, and I feel like more people need to see this. This needs to be exposed to a bigger audience because the message, not just the images, but the message, the overall message is very important for, I feel, our generation and generations to come. I was moved, and I feel like everyone else there was moved, and I cannot wait to see what this can become. Everyone involved did a wonderful and powerful job. It was very powerful. And I cannot wait to see what comes next. I actually walked in um, a little after the beginning. I was having trouble finding the place. And so I, I actually felt like I entered almost directly onto the stage. stage, uh, stage. And I really had this very strong feeling of not knowing where the boundaries are. These bodies that were moving and looking for each other, looking for feelings looking for what's touching them and you know and I, I started thinking about how it is we live in the society of all the screens and these different technologies and how they're looking for us, how we're looking for each other through them and so I think um, this was really my strongest impression. The performance uh, definitely hit home, uh, hit home for a lot of the audience. I feel like whoever is doing social justice work or social justice performance work, um, this was a beacon or outcry for saying, listen, there needs to be more work like this, and this work needs to be expanded, and this work needs to actually um, it needs to be expanded, it needs to be, it needs to be reverberated across all, all forms of justice and all social activist movements. So, awesome job. Keep up. It's rare, Thank you. just too bad, to see something that is as moving, moving images, moving sound, moving memory, moving movement, uh, as this piece. So I felt incredibly fortunate to see it's the first it's the first debut of this performance which mixes history and dream and heart and suffering and critique and anger sort of all together in an alchemical performance and the space of performance is so important and a lot of scholarship doesn't use it enough to communicate the kinds of things that can be communicated, which they just did. Uh, it was beautiful and challenging and made you want more and made you have memories and made you, and this is maybe the most important thing, made you feel a little bit more happy and hopeful about the possibilities of the future. And, and that's what performative scholarship and collaborative um, performance can really do. So thank you Mercy Drive Incorporated for giving us a little mercy.